Go, a statically typed compiled language often described as C for the 21st century. It's a popular choice for high-performance server-side applications, and is the language that built tools like Docker, CockroachDB, and DGraph. It was created at Google in 2007 by legends who really know their stuff, like Ken Thompson, the inventor of the B and C programming languages. Version 1.0 was released as open-source software in 2012. It was designed for simplicity and efficiency, and that's why we call it Go and not Go Lang. The source code is compiled down to machine code, which means it generally outperforms interpreted languages, but it's famous for its extremely fast compile times, made possible by innovations to dependency analysis. And even though it's a statically typed language, it performs type inference to deliver a syntax that is very concise and practical. It also has a package and module system, making it easy to import and export code between projects. To get started, install Go and then open an empty directory on your system. Create a file ending in .com go, then add package main at the top to create a standalone executable, then declare a main function, which is where your program will start executing. Go has a standard library of core packages to handle common requirements like math, networking, or formatted I.O. By importing FMT, we can print a line to the standard output, then run the go build command, and it quickly compiles the source code and dependencies into an executable binary. When it comes to dependencies, we can also link to remote packages on GitHub, run go Go mod init from the command line, and that creates a Go module file that enables dependency tracking. Syntactically, Go is like a concise version of C or C++. Declare a variable with the var keyword, followed by its name and type, and initialize it with a value. Or you might use the short assignment syntax to replace var, and let Go automatically infer the type. And you can define multiple variables from a single line. Go has all the other features you would expect in a programming language, like arrays, maps, loops, and control flow, but also allows you to store the memory address of a value using pointers, while disallowing pointer arithmetic, which often leads to dangerous and unpredictable behavior. In addition, it supports concurrency with Go routines, which are functions that can run at the same time as other functions by utilizing multiple threads on a CPU. This has been Go in 100 seconds. Hit the like button if you want to see more short videos like this, and check out the full article to write your first 100 lines of Go on Fireship.io. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.